When it comes to battle royales, I think I've played a lot of them, starting with PUBG, then moving on to Fortnite, then, you know, trying out Realm Royale, then, you know, Rad, that freaking 80s version game, that one that failed, I forget what it was, um, Radical Heights, uh, and now to Apex Legends. To me, battle royale is what's been sinking my time in. I very much enjoy it because now it gives me that casualness where I can play only for a couple hours and not worry, but also gives me that sense of growth within that time frame that I want to improve I want to master the game and so when Warzone was announced it seemed like a good way for me to come back to a series that I very much enjoyed when I was a kid which was Call of Duty and specifically Modern Warfare and I was like all right let's give this another shot because Modern Warfare to me was a one and done I played a little bit but I was kind of over it after the nostalgia wore off so Today's video is going to not be a review of Call of Duty Warzone, but rather an opinion piece of what it means to be like a Battle Royale player and what this game brings to that space and having a conversation around that and, you know, breaking down what they do right. So without further ado, my name is Flame078 and let's get to it. We can't talk about Warzone without talking about Call of Duty Blackout because this is, you know, for the most part, their first attempt at the Battle Royale space. You know, this little trend that everyone's kind of making millions off, right? Um, so we have to really dissect that a little bit first in order to really understand the core differences and to really break down that we have to kind of bring into the fold what the foundations of each game was. And nothing sums this up best like this statement right here. Blackout was Battle Royale with Call of Duty in it, and Warzone is Call of Duty with Battle Royale in it. The difference is small, but it plays a huge factor in how I think you know the games are going to perform, or in Blackout's case, did perform. For Blackout, you know, you were expecting someone who enjoyed a title, which is Call of Duty, to really enjoy this battle royale take so you can make money off it. Why it kind of flopped, minus the atrocious marketing decisions and whatnot, was that, you know, people who thought it was going to be Call of Duty felt like it wasn't Call of Duty, right? There were still way too many battle royale elements for the faithful of Call of Duty to really grav gravitate towards. However, Warzone is not that. Even from an outsider, I can totally tell this is bread and butter Call of Duty. And in most cases, sometimes I'm even forgetting I'm playing a battle royale. And that's how innovative and how game-changing Warzone really is for me. In my personal opinion, I think Warzone is the best casual battle royale experience out of any of the titles right now. So let's break that down. Call of Duty with a sprinkle of Battle Royale. What does this really mean for the game and, you know, what does it mean for the Battle Royale space? Well, for one, it kind of, for me, brings to the table Battle Royale to a, a lot more people in a more digestible, dissectable kind of way, right? Um, like, I know it's a strong statement, but I do believe that this is one of the greatest casual experiences when it comes to Battle Royale because it doesn't require a lot from the player. Those familiar with Call of Duty feel right at home. The auto-regenerating health, the weapon system is not too complex, the time to kill, the movement. You know, if you're used to those games or if you played those games and you like just sitting down and enjoying that, you're going to feel right at home. You're not going to feel any different with it. But with that, as a new layer to some of the tired Battle Royale components that, you know, people are kind of getting annoyed of if new titles are going to come out. For example, the inventory system. I think by far Warzone has the simplest inventory system ever. Everything is pretty much picked up for you, minus the guns or grenades and like special attachments like the dead silence perks or whatever. Those you have, you have to make a conscious decision, but that makes sense because you as a player want to make a decision about what kind of weapons or attachments you want to run with. Um, everything else is just kind of annoyance, like, let's go, alright, I need ammo, great, thank you, give it to me, bye. It's great, makes it for a very casual experience. And overall, you're not managing your inventory. The amount of times I'm managing my inventory in this game are like none. I barely 
I, you know what? There's no inventory to manage. The only times I ever really care about it is if I need to drop some armor plates for my teammates so they can, you know, get back into the fight. But other than that, I don't really care. All I'm really doing is focusing on running around, getting a gun if I need to, and shooting people. And that's it. And that's kind of what you want in a casual experience. A very straightforward, tunneled experience. With that tunnels kind of driven mindset, they also inadvertently improve the duration of a match by a lot. I think by far my favorite experience of playing Warzone as a battle royale is that I forget it's a battle royale because they give you purpose through every minute of gameplay. And they do this smartly by introducing contracts. And contracts are essentially kind of side missions that you can do during the game to help you out. There are three types, Recon, Scavenger, and Bounties. Each of them kind of fits certain type of players and certain type of Battle Royale players. If you like to prep and be strategic, then you do Recon contracts to kind of figure out where the next circle is so that way you kind of know where to place yourself and stuff like that. Even though the map is kind of big, it seems kind of pointless to do that, but it fits that niche and I've done that pretty you know oftenly where i'm like all right cool i kind of know where to rotate to and kind of use that little part of my brain that i've been so used to from apex legends if you're still kind of like you know like being a loot goblin right and trying to find the best loot then do scavenger contracts and they'll take you to weapon crates and stuff like that to hopefully get you the stuff that you need boom every second you're doing something and lastly if you just want to be aggro and just want to go kill people get bounties just go on and try to kill a team or try to kill a person and it keeps you engaged. These contracts really fill in the time and it really makes every minute of the battle royale experience worthwhile and not feel wasted because even in Apex Legends, even in PUBG and even in Fortnite, there's this old thing that you're just running around even after you're looted waiting for to fight for someone or you're looting and it's just like ugh it's really dreadful to watch to be honest or and even to play sorry even to play so Warzone really does solve that with their contract system. Another Call of Duty thing that they've done is make sure that you remember that, oh cool, they've introduced stuff prior. For example, remember Gunfight from Modern Warfare? They brilliantly added that into the Battle Royale seamlessly with the Gulag system. The Gulag system essentially allows you to have a 1v1 to come back into the fight after your first death. Now, that is brilliant just in itself because it allows a player to be in charge of their own, you know, respawn at least once, right? So it alleviates the really annoying moment in a battle royale where you die right away and that kind of is it for you, right? Apex softened the blow by having the respawn beacons, something that PUBG did not have, and now with the Gulag system, even better because there's no need to rage just 1v1 someone and hopefully get back but even on top of that their default respawn system works very well because essentially as long as you have the cash by you know engaging in the game you get to come back a limited amount of times as long as there is a shopping cart or buy, a buy station around you right very very cool another thing too to add in terms of engagement in terms of longevity in terms of just like feeling like you're doing something say for example you get back and you're you know you're the only one left and you need to respond to your teammates since it depends on cash right it makes you an active player meaning you're not just running to a beacon to respawn someone you need to go get kills you need to go do contracts because you need to get the money to get your players back this is genius because again it allows players to be active and being active in a battle royale makes the time go by quicker. Once I got the ball rolling and I was in matches, I completely forgot again. I was playing battle royale and how long I was playing just because of what the, um, <clears throat> sorry, the amount of things I was doing in the game. So brilliantly for a casual experience, the fact that you're always doing something beautiful, amazing. And I have to praise Warzone for that. So to really capture the end of what I really want to say, um, to summarize my thoughts and stuff like that, um, what PUBG, what Apex Legends, what Fortnite do well, you know, in the battle royale space is something that 
can't be understated. I think they're great games for what they're trying to do. Apex Legends for me is still one of the greatest uh, team battle royale games out there. Um, but no matter what, the battle royale titles do lack something to really capture someone who doesn't like battle royale. And Warzone here, I think, can get that market and have staying power because it can capture that market. The annoyances of inventory management are pretty much gone. The need for running around aimlessly for about 15 minutes is gone. The ability to just wait and, you know, wait for someone to bring you back and feeling annoyed about that that is gone because at least with the gulag system you have one attempt to bring be in charge of your own respawn these things that the other titles don't provide um i think create the best casual gaming experience in the battle royale space um and i think that's really cool i think that's awesome that warzone was able to accomplish this um and I think it has really good legs to at least stay here for a while. And yeah, um, but that is pretty much my thoughts. And I really guys hope you guys enjoyed. And let me know what you guys think down below of the Warzone mode um, and if anything Battle Royale. Let me know. I definitely would like to have a conversation with you guys. And that pretty much wraps up today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed. And again, thank you for making it to the end. You can support me by liking this video and sharing it. I release weekly videos like topic discussion videos like this or Apex Legends videos. I'm all about creating a space for the casual gaming enthusiast. So if you're on board with that, make sure to subscribe and hit that bell so you don't miss out on the next couple of videos. Also, if you're catching this live the day of release, please come over to mixer.com slash slim 78 where I'm streaming live right now. And other than that, I also stream Monday, Wednesday, Fridays um, to make sure the times, make sure to check out my socials and Twitter, which is all down below in the description box. And that is it for me. I hope you guys have a fantastic day. My name is Flame 78 This is Perspective Gaming. Until next time, adios.